Good day, YouTube and Facebook fans. I'm back after a short break in making some YouTube video. I'm back today to show you the same good videos that I did before. Today I will show you how to prepare, take the hard work out of making some Bahamian conch fritters. These conch fritters would be light with a lot of conch. To all of you who I guess try to make conch fritters but it always, the bottle always comes out like a heavy bottle. That means you have more flour than baking powder. So you have to get a balance between the flour and the baking powder. And that's what I did to show you how to get a nice, tasty, conky, Bahamian conch fritters. I will show you how to prepare them by using one and a half cup of regular flour, five ounces of tenderized and diced conch, one and a quarter tablespoon of bacon powder. You have about two sprig, three sprig of native thyme. You have a teaspoon of sea salt. You have a tablespoon of hot pepper. And we use a cup of water. So let's get started. Try to get these chop up as fine as possible. step would be to <clears throat> kind of tenderize or dice the conch. Okay, so we have this out of the way. We move on to the next step by mixing these ingredients together. Start off with the flour. We add the flour to the bowl. 
also have this baking powder. We add that. this conch and now we just let this rest about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I would turn on the stove that I would fry these fritters at. And this is what our bottle would look like after everything has been added. Give that about 10 minutes rest. And this would be should be some nice light and fluffy fritters. Okay now let's start making the fritter or frying the fritters. If you follow this recipe to the T, you should fritters which comes out nice, light, conky, spicy, and the only difference is if you prefer a little more seasoning like salt, you can add a little more to it. But these are some perfect fritters. So let's get started. Again, but I would fry my fritters by taking a spoon and just dipping it in the fat, rub it in the center of my hand just to prevent the conk from fritter from sticking. Add a small amount to the spoon and I just cycle it a couple of times and I drop it. Yep. Should come up nice and round. When you <clears throat> start the Fridays, you would know that they should be nice and fluffy because the minute you drop these and about two or three seconds later, they started to float to the top of the pot. I'm not going to fry all of these, just a small amount. So 
Now these would be the best darn fritters anywhere, hands down, if you follow this recipe to the tea. So that's about it. I'll try for now. We just flip this. The other secret to this is when you find these, make sure the fat is not is about medium, not too hot. <coughs> that it wouldn't, the outside wouldn't be brown before the inside is completely cooking. Now we move on to the next step where we kind of take these out. See what it looked like. The inside is nice and fluffy.